Insulin resistance affects 40% of young Americans ages 18 to 44, according to a University of Alabama study. And only about 12% of American population is metabolically healthy. One of the biggest struggles that I see in clients is not knowing what to eat to improve insulin resistance. So today, I'll be sharing the best low insulin foods to help you reverse insulin resistance this year. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica. I'm an integrative health practitioner and health coach. I post videos every week on optimizing metabolic health, rebalancing hormones, and improving energy. Insulin resistance. What is this? If you've already seen my other videos, just go ahead, skip ahead to the next chapter. Insulin is a hormone that helps to regulate blood sugar. Insulin does this by ushering glucose into your muscle, liver, and fat cells to be used as energy. So when you become insulin resistant, the insulin can no longer move glucose into the cells. So glucose remains in your blood and keeps your blood sugar elevated. Some signs of insulin resistance include difficulty losing weight, gaining visceral fat, and skin tags. You can learn more about the signs of insulin resistance in my previous video here. Insulin resistance could go on for years before your A1C starts to go up. And many doctors don't test for fasting insulin. So by the time your A1C goes into the pre-diabetic or diabetic zone, you've already had insulin resistance for years. But the good news is this is reversible. When you keep insulin low, this helps to reverse insulin resistance. You may have heard of the glycemic index of foods. Glycemic index is a scale of foods that has influence over your blood sugar levels two hours after eating them. The insulin index though is similar to the glycemic index. The insulin of index of a food represents the elevation of insulin concentrations in the blood during the two hour period after the food is eaten. There are similarities, but there are also some foods that will spike insulin that don't spike glucose quite as much. For instance, whey protein powder is high on the insulin index, but low on the glycemic index. Note that the insulin index is about eating foods by themselves. But if you were to eat foods with say fat, and fiber, maybe protein, your insulin and glucose response will be different than if you were eating something by itself. So I just want to caveat that. So what are the best low insulin foods to eat? Let's start with fats. Fats are very low on the insulin index. Foods like butter, ghee, lard, avocado oil, coconut oil, they all have very low insulin responses. Avocados and olives also score low on the index. Dairy products can also rank low on the index. Full fat dairy products, including heavy cream, cream cheese, sour cream, high fat cheeses such as Swiss, cheddar, and brie, all score lower on the index than low or no fat dairy products. Cow's milk scores higher than cheeses, and the lower the fat content of the milk, the greater the insulin spike is it causes. I recommend skipping cow's milk in general. Note that dairy can also be inflammatory for some people. Grass-fed and pasture-raised animals tend to make less inflammatory dairy products than commercially raised dairy products. I also want to note that moldy cheeses like blue cheeses should generally be avoided if you have autoimmune conditions. And for many with autoimmune conditions, dairy is best avoided in general. Next are animal proteins. Eggs are great because they are high in fat soluble vitamins, including A, D, E, and K, also selenium and biotin and especially choline. Note that egg whites are higher on the index than yolks, so ideally you would eat them both together. 
Bacon, pork, and duck score lowest on the insulin index. Chicken and turkey are a little bit higher than beef. Beef is actually at 50%, so it's kind of high. That said, if you do eat beef that has a higher fat content, that will actually help reduce the insulin reaction. As will, of course, preceding that food with high fiber foods such as dark leafy greens. Next are fatty fish such as wild salmon, mackerel, cod, and sardines. These are high in EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids, which has been shown to help improve insulin sensitivity. Note that due to contamination issues with many fish sources, I don't recommend eating these more than twice per week. Veggies that are non-starchy are also a great choice, such as cabbage, chard, cucumber, artichoke, asparagus, onions, garlic, cauliflower, zucchini, summer squash, mushrooms, broccoli, and lettuce. Finally, we have nuts and seeds. These are also really great options, low on the insulin index. These include pecans, macadamia nuts, walnuts, pine nuts, sesame seeds, and tahini butter. Uh, almonds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, and pistachios. It can be easy to overeat nuts, however, so if you're trying to lose weight, consider having just a handful of these a day. You could also have nut butters as well as an option. Now, I'd love to hear what your favorite low insulin foods are in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. This really helps my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.